Am I even on the right one? Hold on, let's make sure. Hold on, chill. Hold on, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Relax, relax. Alright, where are we? That's the latest one. This is where we ran last time. Let's do We can get to like two of them, two or three of these to like before we end the stream. Let's freaking go. On me. Wasting no time. Let's go. Last hour of the stream. We'll go past if we have to. Let's freaking do it, dude. Spooky scary, spooky scary, spooky scary. Let's go! We're starting spooky scaries every single reaction stream from now on because you already know what time of the year it is. It is September. It's about to be October. Let's freaking go. Spooky scaries all the way to December. On May 10th of 2024, a small family gets together to celebrate someone's birthday. As with any birthday celebration, the traditional And then a demon showed up and crashed the party like, yo, what do you do, baby? The birthday song is Let me get some of that cake. There. However, it would be during this festive party that but something wasn't very talking strange about no happens. Pastry. According to Brookie Diaz, the birthday girl, there hasn't been a day where she hasn't thought about this incident. What happened on her birthday will forever linger in her head. It's around mean? 9 p.m. when this is captured. Take a look. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Happy birthday, dear Br Bricky. <laughs> Bricky. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. And many more. Right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, Jackie. Five times speed, okay, okay. I'm taking Bricky. Oh, for Sorry. God, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know the details. All right, here, honey. Oh this, the girl's got to have a present. This is fun. Surprise my daughter with a toy bear dressed like her dad who passed away last year. Aww. From, my, from me. Yeah. Did you know? Oh, it's a Build-A-Bear. Yeah. Jackie, press its paws. Aww. Received the teddy bear with my... Yeah, you, you, you spelled that one out. The voice and all of a sudden we captured this. What? Shut up. No way. What? 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 I didn't hear anything. Hold on. I'm what? Break this as high as it goes. Shut up. No way. What? I hear like an ambulance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I hear like an ambulance no or something. Way. Little ambulance noises. That is not worked. Dad was a retired firefighter and he loved to collect toy trucks. Stop. That is not worked. <laughs> Somehow, a toy fire truck goes off right when the family listens to Dad's message. Now this fire truck isn't just a random toy, but a collectible that the father cherished. Considering that this went off at the same time, they can't- It is very suspicious that this went off at the same time! And also really cool, isn't it? But think that dad- oh, I really dad. want it to be a ghost, I really do! Whether or not this might have been a coincidence remains uncertain. However, it's the- Somebody's gotta turn off the fire machine and like, see if it happens again. Following video taken only a week later, that leaves Brookie There's still more? completely baffled. Brookie, no. Whether or not this might have been a coincidence Start over, remains so uncertain. It. However, it's the following video taken only a week later that leaves Brookie and her family completely baffled. Brookie's lying in bed, trying her best to record the following. <laughs> I just... Miss a, a call from my dad. She missed a call? He's been gone. Like, I just heard his 
voice one more time. He saw a missed call from her dad. Okay, but tell me why it's actually kind of scary that the dad is asking her to visit him while he's gone. Like... At the same time, she got a missed call. Like, stop, dude. And she got it on the rain camera. Dude, I'd be losing my mind. that i'm sorry that was so sad of this incident that brookie believes her father had been present she took it as a sign that her dad was reassuring her that he was still there even though she had missed the opportunity to talk to him whether or not he was actually on the line is unknown but nevertheless it was already strange to hear the teddy bear with his voice talking at this moment while this occurrence was already baffling enough something happens only days later that leaves her extremely there's still more curved. Now, the following incident, as she believes, had nothing to do with her father. Whatever happened that night, according to her, made her feel immensely terrified, which she knows her father would never do. It's late at night when this is captured. The door is slightly swinging open, okay? Oh, come on, stop! No freaking way. Now close it. Prove to me that it's just a, it's a real ghost and not just somebody inside there. Now this particular video is oh, come on. Why did cut out there? talking about, and for good reason. She was so shaken by this incident that talking about it now brings up strong emotions for her. Although knowing that posting this video wouldn't help, she hopes that someone could explain what happened. While some believe it might have been her dad's spirit reaching out, she believes it was something else. That night, she was overcome with a sense of dread, the likes of which she had never felt before. So understandably, she would rather talk about the pleasant moments that were caught on camera. At least these help her to cope with the passing of her father. These moments. To be fair, let's assume that in, in this universe, there is some kind of like a weaker, uh, or a stronger, I should say, a stronger connection to the afterlife in certain parts of the world or certain areas. If, if 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 she lives in one of those stronger areas, can you imagine not only would your pops be able to visit, quote unquote, but also other things? Serve to remind her that despite being gone, her dad will always be there. As with all videos, this one remains a mystery. I like this one. This was cool, though. It's a couple of cool, really cool coincidences. On a Wednesday afternoon, a man rushes to his basement to record something that just happened. Something that just happened. The well, man look how nice just this. heard footsteps on the staircase, but this was strange as no one had been in the basement. So he takes his video, hoping to capture what often happens when no one is down there. This is what was caught. Take a look. It's a very nice looking basement, though, all things considered. Look, you got a lot of toys and stuff down there.
Is that a door opening and closing by itself down there or what? Why is the camera pointed to the left? I thought you were trying to capture the room. I'm sorry, this is just the most suspicious camera angle ever. I, I, this is not how a normal person would record. Very slowly moving the camera to the left like it's a horror movie. I don't know about you, but I've been moving my camera fast and so look at where I'm looking. You got a lot of creepy dolls, huh? Probably the reason why you're so freaked out all the time. You feel me? Like, the camera feels way too like he's focusing on what the camera's looking at instead of just walking around the house. Oh my... That was planned. There? That was planned. That was 100% planned. I got you good. Even oh, the yes, camera. Good. Oh, he got my heart good. That was planned out. That was fully planned out. Did I miss something there? Oh, no freaking way. What was that? Out of nowhere, a toy ball seemingly throws itself at the man. Its sudden movement was enough to make him shut what the door the and start recording at once. What happened afterward is unknown, but based Nothing. on the few details that were given, it's clear that the man and his family have kept away from this basement. Although lacking sufficient context, the video itself still holds up as being pretty creepy. I mean, it kind of does, but this feels very staged. Like, very, very staged. This next footage was I don't know posted how the balloon 10 years did that, ago, though. making it by far the oldest video on this list. But even so, this video continues to unsettle viewers. Those Why who have seen blue? it, which very few have, can't seem to explain what was captured. In it, a woman is seen dancing by herself at a party, when suddenly, something in the background is caught on camera. This Why is she is blue caught. like the blue man group? How come she's a smurf? Why does she look like a smurf? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks like a smurf. Yeah, I see the kid. Well, was the kid not supposed to be there? Oh! Oh, the kid was not supposed to be there! That kid wasn't there! Why is she a smurf, though? I'm so confused. Strangely, a small child just disappears while climbing up the stairs. It happens quickly, almost too quickly, that it seems like something ghostly was caught on tape. But even stranger is that no children were present at the party, or at least that's what the person who took this video claims. If no children had been there, then who was this? But most importantly, how exactly did they vanish in just a matter of seconds? Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer to this question. Okay, okay. In the following video, a man leaves his house before heading over to his car. At first, it appears that the video is nothing more than just random footage of a man leaving his home. While it may seem like that, it's what happens later that left him and his family completely unnerved. Now this footage was posted by the man's wife, who's known as Lisa Miller. Both she and her husband have a small family that live in the suburbs. But this small family was recently made smaller, as Lisa had just lost her father. It isn't clear as to how no. he passed, but she'll Bro, always Bro, you can't him. do that to me! The, you show me the image family of this kid, right? Suburbs, but this small family- You really show me this video? I, first of all, I'm looking at this clip and I'm like, Oh, this kid has that one motorcycle I've been trying to family get. Like, I, I want to get me one of these little small electric, like, uh, motorbikes. 
Cause like they they'd be sick, dude. Like even even like even as an adult, you can ride these things. It's freaking dope. They're awesome. I'm like, oh, I want to get me one of these motorcycles. You know, these little. But then, but then you immediately go to. Recently, this family became smaller. I'm like, not the kid, recently the poor baby. As Lisa <laughs> had just lost her father. I feel bad for your father too, Lisa. Passed, I'm sorry. It's just I freaking patted like the way they freaking the made it look. As Lisa mentions, he would always tell her to whistle if she ever needed him. Although she can't do that now, this recording has shown her that she doesn't have to. According to Lisa, it appears that he hasn't left. This is what was caught. Let's see, let's see. This is at 5.30 a.m. Good lord, dude. Can we get some W's in the chat for this giga chat? Getting up to go to work at 5.30 in the morning? Good lord. I feel that. You gotta get the right key. It's annoying. This is why, this is why, honestly, I just lock it from the inside and then close the door. But he's probably putting the deadbolt at the top. It is 5.30 in the morning. That's, he's right. Yeah, I think he's right. I think he's right. You gotta put the deadbolt. Get it? Get it, the deadbolt? All right. <laughs> oh, and he's claiming, well, the car just started up. He's claiming that that, that whistle was random. Or that whistle just came out of nowhere. The sound of someone whistling is heard clear as day on camera. Despite being quite loud, it appears that Lisa's husband didn't hear the whistle. But whether he had heard it or not doesn't matter to Lisa. The camera had caught it, and that alone has given her sufficient evidence to believe that her father is still here. Although she has yet to come up with an explanation, she prefers not to, as what was captured has helped her grieve over his death. I mean, so I, I assume the husband said that no, I didn't hear anything, and I and that wasn't me whistling. On the night of September 2nd of 2020, a father walks into his daughter's room to see if she's okay. It was just then that he heard her screaming for help. Naturally, he runs over to check on her, but when he gets there, this happens. What's the matter? I, I, uh, I, just, I just want to sleep with you now. Dude, so that, 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 that genuinely made me feel so freaking paranoid. She's, she's such a poor little baby screaming and crying. I didn't expect her to be that small. He had clearly terrified his daughter. Although initially thinking that perhaps this might have been a night terror she was having, her parents couldn't shake the feeling that something real had scared her. Never had they ever yeah, seen that's like real terror, dude. Child was terrified. So, out of curiosity, they checked the footage taken from that night to see if anything odd stands out. At first glance, nothing obvious catches their attention. But after looking closely, they see it. Either someone or something had been inside their daughter's room. What's the matter? Now it's hard to see where this mysterious figure is at. But according to the mother, it appears at her bedside. A face, presumably that of a woman's, appears for a few seconds before disappearing. Frame by frame, and that face right there is what popped up. But here is... But... Where? Oh, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying, like, this is the, the nose? And that's like the eye on a mouth. It's a big. No that's you. That's that's you. It's like actually an image of you. I think it's like an after image from the ring camera of you. She even got the same nose as you. Yeah, it's probably like an after bird image of the ring camera. You've probably been there before. Eyebrows are pretty thick. I'm just saying. Is a close up. Um, right there, you can clearly see the lips, the teeth, the nose, the eye, the eyebrow, and like hair. You can't tell me that that's not a thing. The parents believe that this had been the reason why their child was afraid. Now it's a bit hard to see at first, yeah. but a face no, can I somewhat saw it. Be made out. Although I saw it. I just don't think it's it's a ghost ago, they still can't explain what appeared in this footage. 
To this day, this video continues to baffle them. Again, though, very creepy, though, with the, with the little girl's reaction like that. Maybe, maybe. Now, this next video comes from Brenna Logan, who states that her sister had once worked at a children's center where something very strange happened. According to her, the center was a place for kids of all ages, including those who like to play music. It was pretty much a mix between a music school and a daycare center, which not many children went to for a couple of reasons. But the biggest reason was that they were scared. Children would often tell workers that a really mean guy was inside the play tunnel for kids. But of course, a really no one mean would be guy? There. Other times, daycare staff would find toys misplaced, even though no one had been inside. Now, eventually, the daycare had shut down when COVID hit. But during this time, the owners had set up cameras to watch over the place in case anyone tried to break in. Although no one did, they did capture something that has left them pretty spooked. The following Let's go! Is so this is during the Rona. This is like empty, empty. Oh, somebody's still playing here. It might not be the kids, but somebody's playing here. I got bored of that. You're gonna play with blocks now. You wanna play with blocks? What you wanna do? The ball? There's a ball! It's rolling a ball. And it's turning back around! Stop! No! Make the ball move again, bro. Let's go. Spontaneous movement right now. Or drop the blocks. I told you I was going to go play with some blocks. What is that? Oh, nah. It's a little toy truck. What on earth is that? No. It makes sense as to why not many kids wanted to come here. From things moving on their own, to a strange white ball moving with a mind of its own, this place, as employees claim, is haunted. Now, regardless of the video, Brenna's sister firmly believes this. She no longer works there, but still vividly remembers the creepy experiences she's had while working there. Despite not having footage of these spooky encounters, Brenna doesn't think her sister was just making things up. She believes her, and she believes that whatever was caught on camera is something that will continue to remain a mystery. That's awesome, though. If you, caught you, you should like camera, or if be, somebody should go and do like a ghost out, hunting thing the right there. You can send them over to scary videos. I think that would be cool because then like that place has like video like evidence of like said, ghosts. Let's get back to the video. Not like other places, like other houses on 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 this ghost hunting video videos that where they don't. Or apparently something pretty creepy was caught on camera. Now the person who took this owns not only this house, but a multitude of dogs. Oh, look at the doggos! Pet, according to them, is deeply cared for, as they can help but treat their dogs like children. However, just like kids, there are moments when they do things that make them feel spooked. Whether it's staring at an empty space, or growling at something that isn't there, they act in ways that are very peculiar. This is something that the owner has tried to ignore, or pass off as something normal. But after encountering the following incident, they now- you also have to understand that, and this is something that's normal, if a doggo hears a noise, but and, and sort of like, could be the echoes of the wall, could be the echoes of the room, if they like perceive that something, that's, the noise came from over there, even though it's just a wall, they will bark at the wall just to see if like anything moves or anything like gets scared or struggle, you know? Just to see that if any movement, like just, just to see. Is going on. In the following video, the owner's alone That they might not, uh, you know, obviously have noticed the first time. Here. Something's like knocking on the door. Hmm. I mean, there sure won't nobody in, uh, there. But now that you open the door, did you just invite that thing in? Have those basically. Time.
Did he still now, knock this it? Be the first time something like this has happened. It was just then that he was able to capture what both he and his wife had been experiencing. These knockings don't seem to have a common source, as they happen randomly throughout the house. On one occasion, the man's wife is alone at home, when suddenly, she captures this. Oh, what we got? Let me see, let me see! It just happened again, and the dogs are freaked out. Get it. David, come over here. Get it. You be right there. Something opens that f***ing door, you need to get him. <laughs> he really told him! Alright, look, Doggo, you stand there, because if somebody opens that door, you're getting him. <laughs> Yo! Shout out to this lady. She is prepared. See, some people, some people, when, when shiz goes down, they don't got a plan. Not this lady. She got a plan for when shiz goes down. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's going to happen again. It just happened again. Stick the camera out the window. At the top. Stick the camera out there. Oh, that's creepy. Move, 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 move. Move, Douglas, move. Oh, no. That's creepy. There's nobody there. The dog stopped barking now. Davey's freaking the out by the door, though. Well, the ghost just wanted to see if you were home or not. Nah, so a lot, you, I'm gonna be Just real like with before, everyone here. If I lived in a house with this many windows on my doors, like, bro. Like, look at this. Smack that window, you're in. Smack this window, you're it's in. freaking out by the door, though. You got this what you got this door here that could just be kicked in and you could you're in like even though it's multiple you feel me I wouldn't feel safe in this home frankly their dogs as well as other odd experiences they I like had. I like it nice solid doors that, that are like you know <laughs> you can't see but outside like or videos, nothing this incident I don't even got a people on my door my thing's a solid just brick of exactly freaking wood dude. did the couple get on camera and I mean solid solid it's not a, we did not purchase a door we made one <laughs> We made one and just drilled now, a hole in it and put a freaking uh, handle. Both of which have something in Giant common. Giant just heavy, heavy clip, piece of freaking wood, dude. Something happens that heavy. Like day, you can't, one person can't carry my door. About it. On this I'm screwed if that night, thing ever comes off Casey the hinges. was having a few drinks at her house. Feeling a bit tipsy, she begins to talk out loud. She speaks as if Chris, her deceased husband, was still around. No way. Despite being Aww. gone, she talks to him as though he were there. What's that? What happens next chills her to the core. Watch. Wait, so despite her husband being gone, she still talks to him as if he's there? That's sad, but also kind of cute. Chris, please watch over Boston. Please watch over Boston. No, oh, they're dog old Boston. And Winter, and Winter. Don't forget about Winter. Daddy's got you, okay? Aww. I'll make sure you're okay. I think he'll make sure I'm okay, too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that. <laughs> she, <laughs> she said F really? that. Yeah. Oh, my. Right. God, right when, right when she said it. I hope those cameras picked that up. I hope those cameras picked that up. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cute if it's true, though. Right when she said. <laughs> Right when she said right. that the husband is going to take care of the doggo. He's listening. Aside from flickering at the right time, it flickers not once, but twice, which viewers believe is a sign that it wasn't a problem with the electricity. Even before this, the dogs appear to sense someone familiar. Understandably, this footage never fails to bring Casey to tears. But as if this wasn't already sentimental enough, the following video captures this. There's Josie more! Sanchez is alone at home when something happens that prompts her to take out her phone. Do it again, Dad. Do it again, Dad. Dad? Oh, is this their daughter? Do it again. Flip the light. Flick the light, Dad. Look 
let me realize yeah, the fact that she keeps saying it over and over and over again and just sort of staring at it, it starts to make me feel like it's a light malfunction. Unless something goes ham right now. Oh my god. <laughs> just like the video prior, Josie believes that this was a sign. Her dad, according to her, was reaching out by flickering the light. As with Casey's footage, many viewers feel that something supernatural had happened. But as always, I'll let you come up with your own judgment. Just what exactly was caught on camera? Like, this one is just like a situation where I'm like, bro, it happened, like, oh, it just happened to be right then and there, you know? Like, oh, what are the odds? But the other one is just like, she kept right. asking and asking, like, it might have been, might have been. I guess, I guess if it never freaking flickers ever again Thanks after that, watching, then it's kind of proving that it's true, you yeah? know? Also, but still, if you haven't already I'm done so, that house, please I subscribe know. and make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads in the future. Absolutely also, sure amazing video. Also, TikTok account for this channel. That being said, until next time. Let's drop him a like. Please go and drop him a sub. I'm going to share this video on the Discord for you all to check out. Give me a moment real quick. I'm going to go use the restroom right quick. And as soon as I'm back, we're going to watch another spooky, scary, spooky, scary. I want to get like one or two more done, dude. Let's freaking go. Give me a moment. Thanks for hanging out. Like or dislike, comment and subscribe. And become a Monogachi today. I live stream all day, Monday through Friday. So go say hi. That's all for now, monos. Goodbye. And thanks for swinging by. Salud.